process to start our 14-day cruise, Circle the Caribbean, from April 2nd to April 16th in the Caribbean. On our way, we have now left the port of Port Lauderdale. Off to the seas, we'll be in uh, St. Thomas two days from now. Good morning. Today is April 3rd. We will be enjoying a ship day on the Emerald Princess. Out in the Caribbean. Today is April 4th. We have another sea day, and then tomorrow we'll be in St. Thomas. morning. Today is April 4th, third day of the cruise, and we're doing another sea day. One more sea day, and then we'll be in St. Thomas tomorrow. These are my pretty flowers. Say one you got them. Le Leslie just got these flowers from Princess for saving the cruise industry. <laughs>
dock at 8 in the morning. And it was like, for now, we're bringing to you Trisha. Oh, let's give it up one more time for the wonderful Todd Allen. Dr. Todd. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, as we pull into Charlotte Amelie in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, where we'll spend the day. Les and I are going to get off the ship, just walking around and just explore the town for a bit. We're now in the port of Charlotte Amelie for St. Thomas. Leslie and I are walking around in Charlotte Amelie of St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands.
Good morning. Today is April 6th, day number five. We're going to be in the island of St. Kitts. Leave Island without trying. One, this is Garibu, the best being in the Caribbean. As we go further down now, we are out of the hustle and bustle of fast day now. We are headed into the countryside. Here we are at Brimstone Fort. Thank you. 
Took a little time on my own. Leslie wasn't feeling too good. Today is April 7th, day number six. We are cruising into Dominica. We'll be there in a couple hours. Today we are spending the day on the island of Dominique. During Hurricane Devin in 1979, as you can see, the tree is still growing. Here I am at Tra Trafalgar Falls. Thank 
Hello, is that what that is? Parrot? Yeah, I see some on, on, on Jasper. Sometimes early morning. This mountain on the island. It's called Mon Tra Piton. Tra means free and pick Piton means pick. Okay, we made 
Yeah. 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 On my way to the Emerald Pool. Here I am at the Emerald Pool. Doesn't look very emerald today. Maybe it's due to the rain or maybe it's all a marketing ploy. Here I am at the Emerald Pool, underneath the waterfall. But I'm staying dry because I'm in a cave. In front of the fall. Here I am at the Emerald Pool with the falls in the background.
there, Lauren and Kevin and Eric and Haley and Ethan. We're having a great time on our cruise. Today's day number six. We have some stories that we'll be more than happy to tell you when we get back. But for now, we're having fun, right? Right. All right. April 8th, day number seven. We'll be spending the day in St. Lucia. This morning, we're cruising into St. Lucia. Today we will be spending the day on the island of St. Lucia with a full day event and uh, yes, we're going to be on St. Lucia. Photos, watch your hands, watch your step when coming off. To fertilize the baby. And this is how the cycle works. Since it's the driest month, right? So it won't be. also once known as a forgotten village because there were no roads linking canneries into castries or sucriere. So one traveling back then would have to go by canoe or mule to get to their destination. Mm -hmm. 
grows about 90 feet in the interior of the island and is aimed, like all other plants, is for sunlight. On island, we receive about 60 inches of rainfall to the coastal areas and about 160 inches to the interior of the island. Behind me are the pitons of St. Lucia. So right about now we are in the town of Sufrié from the volcano actually comes into the town and you smell it as soon as you come into any attractions that are found here. Fresh waterfalls, mineral falls, estates, plantation, uh, the volcano. Ask as many questions as you may like. So because the west wall blew out and part of it is in the ocean, the water naturally comes in through fissures and cracks in the ground. The French, they were the first people to establish a town on the island. And that was the town of Soufre between 1745 and 1746. 20 years later, the volcano erupted. But as it was documented, it was only a steam eruption. At You have Bogan Villiers to the left and right. Bogan Villiers. This is the first stage of chocolate. But when we see what's inside of that, when we can't sell in any of those, we are going to the restaurant. Then they would have a, inside you get the coffee inside of those shells. He is going to de husk the coconut, give you an Now when the coconut starts to make it then the coconut starts to sprout out to turn into another coconut tree. Yeah, come on board. Having a swim and some rum.
Leslie? Okay, no, we do this all the time. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, we're yeah, good. Is, well, you look pretty good at us. Yeah, yeah, we, we won't do, photobomb you either. We do it Cheers. all the time. <laughs> We've been photobombed a lot. <laughs> Leslie and I are about ready to explore the port of St. George in Granada. Our day in Granada has come to an end, and tomorrow we're going to wake up in Barbados. Good morning. Today is April 10th, day number nine. We are going to be cruising into Bridgetown, Barbados, where Leslie and I have a, an excursion planned for the day. It's a crowded day in Barbados today as there are five cruise ships in port. Good thing we have a tour and you're not able to walk into town on your own due to some construction on port. We no longer see those these pelicans in Barbados anymore. Nature of Barbados is a, is a coral limestone island. And this is the Bridgetown Fish Market. Everything is closed on Sundays still here on the island. And unlike a lot of our neighboring Caribbean islands during the colonial period, which they changed hands at some point in time, they were English, another time they were French or even Spanish controlled, no about to enter. Only from 2011 this area became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can see the sign here, historic Bridgetown and it's your seen it right along the coastline, along Carlisle Bay, remember to tell you that here we are now arriving at George Washington House. So you can see the house. George Washington House in 1751. He stayed here for seven weeks. Every morning, 
And this place had between three and four thousand troops stationed here. They were sometimes marching on water. Not only were they not changing the flu, the wet and damp condition was exacerbating the mosquito They also had another <laughs> malaria and yellow fever. But they had not linked the mosquitoes to malaria and fever by that. So the mosquitoes were more spreading around them. And of course, against them, more mosquitoes, more yellow fever, malaria. It got so Pretty cool. Where are you? Where are you guys? Over here? I think we're getting to one of the narrower spots. This is, it was built in uh, around 1789, 1790, this building, to your great base. Mm -hmm that the military were putting in place, the British military, all around the world. Size and then they could predict maintenance over the years, no matter where they were going. Just uh, let his life. And then they you can see where the perks were. Oh. <laughs> the, the independence of this nation. And that really must conclude the tour now, I think. So that's pretty much a rebellious defense force. It's like off here in Carlisle Bay as well. Now this big building on the right hand side, I should since I mentioned crop over, we are coming up now to our crop over season on the island. As I told you earlier, if you drive around the island, you see lots of the sugarcane fields, liter, barbados for a liter of petrol, liter of gasoline. So that is expensive. Okay. The fruits and vegetables that we can grow in these tropical temperatures. Today is Sunday, but you can take a Today is day number 10, April 11th. We're having a ship day today, right kiddo? Yeah. We're hanging out on the deck, on our balcony, 
watching boobies fly by, diving in the water for fish. But uh, I like that here, then I take picture with the other one. This one I have my medallion. Okay, it's a good, this one, it's a good one. Lazy afternoon on our boat. Good morning. Today is April 12th. 
day number 11. We're going to be cruising into Aruba, spending the day in Aruba. Ornstad, Aruba. Les and I are just going to walk around in the town of Ornstad and see some of the sights. Leslie and I are taking a walk in Orenstead, Aruba. Just finished our day in Aruba. We just had dinner. Now we're gonna go see a show. How's your day been, Les? Mm -hmm. Fine. It's been really good. It's been hot. It's been a hot day. Yeah. Everybody wave. That's what wave.
today we'll be in Bonaire, the Netherlands. Today is day number 12, April 13th, we're in Bonaire, the Netherlands. Today we are doing a tour of Bonaire. We're gonna circle the northern part of the island and see what we can see. Okay. Crawling dike. Pretty much really the only one. <laughs> Basically headed north here. The island itself is about 26 miles long, that's three to seven miles wide. It's kind of shaped like a boomerang or a banana. Transworld radio building. On the left here is Webb, water and electric phone air. And to put in a system that'll handle between six and seven hundred kilowatts a month. Well, there's the shore diving capital of the world. That's where our reef begins. That's about 30 feet deep. We have a steep reef slope down to between two and 400 feet. That was the sea level at one time. We also have three of those cuts underwater. There's one about two and a half feet underwater. There's one down around 18 feet up. Divers get suited up up here. We have turtles that nest on all the beaches on Bonaire and Klein Bonaire. Back in the days before refrigeration, salt was worth its weight in gold. Plus Carpata or plantation house. Big houses in the back, smaller buildings up front or for storage. Our tides are very, very low. It's around a half a foot most of the time, unless it's the fall high tides or the spring deep tides. Well, that might be a good sign that they're stopping over there. That's three right there. Otherwise, they wouldn't be out of there. They lay one egg at a time. It takes around 28 days for the egg to hatch. They fly like geese or ducks in a V or a wedge. In flight, they're very colorful. All the land in front of us and to our left is Washington Slide by National Park. It's 760 some feet tall. They argue about the last number, probably because the U.S. Geological Survey marker up there doesn't have its height on it. The ones casually feeding there. They have big web feet. What it's doing is stomping on the bottom to stir up shrimp and crustaceans and algae off the bottom into the water column. Then it puts its head in there upside down and uses its beak to filter feed right through that area it just stirred up. They're so little. You see them in that little cult there yeah. too. all the wild goat, sheep, and donkeys from the park and reintroduce some of the native hardwoods and fruit trees. As you can see, this end of the lake dries up in the dry season. So the fence is there to prevent any wild goat, sheep, or donkeys from re-entering the park in the dry season. You look around, Rincon's totally surrounded by hills. It was put down in this valley for two reasons. Number one, it cannot be seen 
from the sea from any direction, so it kept it safe from the pirates and the privateers. And number two, when it rains, all these hills watershed into this valley, so it was easier to grow things. What to make note of there is how big their cooking area is. Families used to be really large, well over 10 children on average. We had to have a big area to cook. Rincon has its own gas station, branch of the major bank on the island, office of the water and the electric company, drop to the post office so they don't have to go into Crawl and Dyke. In the town of Rikan, the first village on the island of Bonaire. I'll let you work on my accent, and I'll tell you as we drive out. <laughs> Six weeks later, I lived here. Wow. Passes, helium oxygen mixtures. And Facebook just reminded me that I did that in December of 2014. And every weekend, the slaves had to go buy the magazine to pick up the ration of cornmeal for the next week. Yep. Not very friendly. There's more over there. and there was goats. And I'm guessing it was a fairly exciting landing coming over that hill and hitting the runway here. <laughs> By that family can trace their ancestry back to the original Indians on the island. Sun's getting to you. It is. Just like Rincon, older buildings here towards the old center of town become newer and newer the farther you get out. Once the foundation's in, it's yours, as long as you continue to pay, obviously. A few people on, few people off. Then they were off to Ecuador, Peru, Argentina week on Delta. I mean, yeah. No dog. People getting ready to camp on the beach for Easter. One of the roads that wasn't all messed up. From here to the south tip of the island, about six and a half miles in front of us. And to our left, three, three and a half miles, the other side of the island. Beat the piles of Bonarian snow you see out there. Those are the only three ingredients. Caribbean seawater, sun and wind equals salt. Nobody diving, so there must be a ship headed this way. These are the salt slave. These are the, these are the salt slave slave huts of Bonaire. The sailing ships. They didn't have radios. Please do not lick it. It wouldn't have to be said if it hadn't been done, you know? The majority of it goes to North America for water summers. Some goes to Europe. Argo has a mandatory retirement at 65. It's harvested, it's crystal clear. When it's exposed to the air, it sucks a little moisture out of the air and gets a cloudy film on it. So if you'd like to hop out and take a picture, we can do that. Once you have your picture, hop back in, we'll be on our way.
They figure each front end loader bucket is one ton of salt. But they're harvesting over here. There are no ships coming. It's a very popular dive site because the pilings are covered in bright soft corals and the harvester is not so happy when it gets up around 11. So they like to keep it eight or nine. They have to leave at least 12 inches in the bottom because the heavy equipment can break through turtle nesting beach and they block the light from the airport at night. I have a Dutch passport put it in there. I've still got one of those mistakes. Inside the cave itself, the water is crystal clear. There's big stalactites and stalagmites. <laughs> Now, we've now completed our time in Bonaire. We're going to head back to the ship, enjoy the next two days on the ship, just enjoying having ship days. Today is day number 13, April 14th. It's a ship day. Today and tomorrow will be ship days before we get into Fort Lauderdale. Nice and 
smooth. Yep, today and tomorrow is our sea days, and then we'll be back on Saturday. We're touching down at 3 p.m. It's now noon, and it's time for lunch. In the background, far in the distance, is Haiti. Good morning. Today is day number 14 aboard the Emerald Princess. We will be cruising along Cuba on the port side. We have a sea day all day today and then we will be in the Fort Lauderdale tomorrow morning.
Today is April 15th, day number 14 of our cruise. It's a sea day, so we're enjoying our day on ship. And uh, then we'll be back heading home, heading home in Fort Lauderdale. Our cruise has now come to an end. April 16th. Our cruise is all over. We are in Fort Lauderdale. Here are some pictures of our cruise. 